hi everybody welcome to my channel so guys listen come over here i know we've been living with Polani, no Vuyo alone for a few days because a lot was happening okay there was zumboro and then there's also the, the uh, second wife uh, zandikumalo <laughs> second wife uh, zandikumalo. zandikumalo's husband is taking the second wife there was also um uh, Chidima story that we were focusing on, and you guys sometimes in Funuk Bukinte Yotunji, Nivelenwa Yega, Wokama Vitun Bukinte Yot, you know. So there was a lot happening, you guys, and it kind of felt like we were leaving them alone. I thought Kutsubasha or Moya, you guys, but it looks like they were cooking something while we were ignoring them over here because Kola Nisabelo has posted this letter that is supposed to be a letter coming from written by his lawyers on him and Vuyo's instructions. And it's directed at uh, Lady Londi because it says that it's going to Londega and Lady Londi is the one that initially published the story where the one lady was claiming that she was communicating with Colan. Okay. And I think you guys, the purpose of this letter is just to say to Lady Londi, she must stop talking about the story because everything that was uh, shared with her is not true. Okay. Lord, they want us. <laughs> to believe that those was not were not Colani's was not. So guys, <laughs> listen. Okay, those was not were not Colani's was not. They were not. They, it didn't even sound like hey, the story was not adding up. You know. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm just going to read part of the letter what it says. But before I do that, you guys, because of course on social media we've had so many of these lawyer letters. Uh, published and then when you look at the letter you're like mm -mm, this is, doesn't look like a formal letter written in a formal office okay it looks like something was sitting in the car searched the templates for a lawyer's letter and then just published it and didn't look at the details to see if it makes sense okay so the letter is written by the lawyers okay the name of the attorney is it the attorney company or whatever it is it's called nn malimela and associates and i was like let me just go and see if there's nn malimela and associates and also it looked like it's a company based in devon based on the office numbers so i was like listen you guys i might just pop in there just to just to you know <laughs> just to do the lawyers exist but if you google when i google this name you guys it didn't come up you know like the, the the first few you know results of your google you know it didn't come up however there was a link to the facebook page that came up okay there were a lot of malimelas attorney malimela m malimel a malimel you know but the n n malimela and associates i did not find however there was a facebook page and then when i clicked on it and i went over there the lady that you see here there is a uh, lady that, you know, looks like it's her Facebook page. So I'm guessing that the NN Malimela and Associates is her company. Okay. Also, the number that she advertises on the Facebook page for her uh, company is the same as the number that is on this letter. Okay. And also the address. So I was like, okay, it might be legit. Okay. So the lady here is, you know, the lawyer. There is representing Ukolani Sabelo and Uvuyo. Okay. Now the letter is supposed to uh, be directed at Lady Londi and Ukolani wrote his <laughs> twice. He said that it's a warning. Okay. Okay. I guess it's a warning, Lady Londi. Okay. Basically, it's a cease and desist. My understanding of a cease and desist is when somebody says, listen, stop talking about this subject or we might do something so it's not like lady londi is being sued they are saying she must stop talking about that issue okay and then it's a long letter because attorneys sometimes just have to say a whole lot of stuff that is not really necessary but they want to scare you so if the letter is long enough they are hoping it might just scare you and you stop talking about the story guys you know on my channel i've always said that for me I feel like we're here on YouTube. It's fun and all of that. And we make money. You know, don't make mistakes about that. We do make money on YouTube. However, I always feel like the YouTube check is not worth much when it comes. I just, there's just a stress that I'm not going to put up with for YouTube. So I'm all, I'm more of a belief that if you've published a story and somebody's complaining about it, and even if you know for sure that it's true, and they're asking you to remove it. That is just my thing. Just remove the story and move on with your life. There's going to be another one and we'll have some fun in the future too. Okay. So since it's assist and desist, 
you know you guys i do believe that ulodi just to save herself stress she should just remove whatever it is that they want her to remove and i guess it, she can also apologize as well okay because honestly you guys we know <laughs> Whether Lady Lord, uh, you know, uh, apologizes or not, the truth is in the voice notes, okay? Who did not hear the voice notes? So I would just uh, do that, you guys. Listen, I did ask Lady Lord, Lady Lord, have you received the letter? And she said, not yet, okay? <laughs> so maybe it's somewhere in the emails. You know, sometimes my emails are humble, you know, so a letter is coming, but I told you, know, like formally, you know? So you guys, now let's talk about what is on the letter because I feel like, okay, it must be legit because of the Facebook page. But I mean, when I read this letter, you guys, I was like, hey, it's easy that they don't sound like, as you know, and, but, you know, I was like, you know what, Dando, you remember when you used to do commission law? you remember how that cause was so difficult for you because of all of the legal terms and stuff you know it might just be that it might just be me not understand you know the legal terms mixed with english it can be a disaster for some of us okay so it says here cease and desist defamatory and false uh, social media publication of Tolani and Vyokazi Nguyen. We confirm that we are the appointed attorneys in a matter representing both Mr. Tolani Sabelo and Vyokazi Nguyen, and our instructions are stated there under. Now, when you move on to the second page, you guys, there is just something fun. I think he cut it uh, the way that he was posting that letter so that there, there was a line or two that you can't see in, in the letter. Okay. Hopefully, when Lady Londi gets the letter, it will be complete. It won't look like this because if it looks like this, like it looks funny. Okay. So, and it says here, engagement to Olani Sabella. I think there was a part where they are talking about how Lady Londi had posted voice notes where a lady was talking about uh, their interaction with Olani Sabella. So it says here, uh, 2.2 Uti voice notes supposedly to be that of Olani Sabella allegedly divulging personal information to a certain individual. Okay. Now, what you need to understand about this letter is that they're trying to tell you that whatever we had on the voice notes, that was not Olani. Okay, so this lady just made up those voice notes. Maybe it was her other boyfriend that was speaking on the voice notes. It really is up to you. I think, I feel like I know who it was, okay? But, you know, for you, you can just decide. But they are saying it's not Olani, you know? They are saying that. And it's a legal letter, okay? Headful and unfounded statement stating that Mr. Colani Savello is on a plot to use and dump Miss Viogas in the way. Remember, there was a voice note where he was saying, Would he really he just is going to come back? And after they do, when he comes back, he's going to have so much following, so everything will break out, and then he won't need you, something like that, you guys. Okay, so he's saying that that's not true. Okay, I guess it's another man that also is doing a reality show that is trying to do a reality show with another voyo you know and that other voyo will be damned at the end when this guy gets what he wants but that was not colan it was just a mix up your bond yeah, but so it's someone else who is also dating an another lady called Vuyo because they are saying it's not Kulan and it's guys, it's not Kulan. So it must have been someone else because that person was talking about another Vuyo, you know. So guys be clear, please. Okay. So it says here, to the contrary, ma'am. Like, like this is where I was like, like it must be me in English. Okay. Were they trying to say to the contrary? That is contrary. It's C-O-N-T-A-R-Y. Guys, I know I have very educated people in the comment section. Tell us if we are done well, it's supposed to be contar, not contrary. Yeah, bon. To the contrary, ma'am, the defamation post published by yourself in the public domain constitute a malicious, uh, specious attempt to mislead the public and cause severe family rifts and tarnish their reputations in the public domain. Such issue is also sensitive as it involves minors and they are in, like, guys, like, like, I'm not even joking, okay? Like, this is not me, guys, but who interest to interest what corner it's in. Yeah, but it's like interest. <laughs> Let me spell it for you because you guys are going to think that in Galangal, who spell it? I N T E R S T. And I think they meant interest. Okay, listen. 
I get my spelling wrong all the time, but I don't get the, the spelling of interest wrong because that is what they charge me when I pay my loans in the bank, okay? <laughs> I say that right all the time on my bank statement, okay? So they're saying that, okay, let me read it, guys. Such issue is also sensitive as it involves minor and their is of paramount importance and not have their names and pictures published or mentioned in a defamatory and unfounded guys like listen guys if anybody is friends with miss and M. malimela and associates she must take down this letter okay she needs to take down this letter and just correct the spelling and then repost it okay because <sighs> okay Anyway, we get the idea that everything is a lie. And also there were children involved because remember, she was talking up in one voice, she was talking about somebody having kids and now the person is stuck at home with their kids and they can't do nothing. That's why you must never have kids at home. That's why they say it involved children. Okay. Um. So it says here, our instructors. Okay, guys, listen. That's why I need somebody that knows a lot about the law because I felt like this should say our instruction or our instructions are that, you know, but here they're saying our instructors. Okay. So, our instructors are that a one Miss Sindisiwe Prudence Butelezi has been the individual narrating defamatory information to you pertaining a client. Such is based on a mere vague, unsubstantiated illusion and misconstrued information. None of it is true. Such defamatory statements are according to injurious to our clients are accordingly, okay, I like better mina guys, are accordingly injurious to our clients' good names standing into disrepute. Guys, if you can get hold of this letter and read it for yourself, like you will see those mistakes, okay? I'm not even joking with them, okay? So it says here, it is there for our instruction. You are born like, that's why I was saying, what's even they, they should have said our instruction. Now they are writing it, but they said our instructors. Guys, somebody needs to check that woman's certificate. <laughs> I know, guys, I'm just saying, because we, we recently had Dr. Matthews, who was busy advising people about, you know, medical conditions and all of that. And it turned out that he had never graduated. So that's because somebody says, you know, Ame, you know, it doesn't mean, you know. So it says here, it is there for our instruction to, it's to, but it's T, it's T-I. It is, <laughs> <coughs> guys, you know what? When I started this with, I had no intention to pick on this letter. I was just going to read it for you. Yeah, but it's just like, like girl, like it's, it's N.M. Malimela and Associates. Okay. Even if the letter is written by you, Miss and, and Malimela, just give it to your associate to read. And what is the associate? What does associates mean? You know, just write the letter, give it to your, the first associate to proofread, and give it to another associate to proofread. This is like a legal document, yeah. So he says, it is there for our instructions to demand, and we hereby do that, you. We hereby do that, you. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> 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 I'm going to go <laughs> I mean, guys, I mean, even if, okay, the lawyer got the letter, the spelling's wrong, like, didn't Colani read the letter, didn't Vio read the letter, like, are you, on, like, are you honestly not seeing the mistakes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deceased, um, I think here they were supposed to say, it is therefore our instruction to demand that you desist from unlawful conduct of posting in your <laughs> page or peddling with Miss uh, Sindisiwe Prudence Butelezi or anybody for that matter, our client, their immediate families and the children, okay? Further retract from posting such defamatory posts on social media. Further publish a post 
on a, every social media platform retracting and offering unconditional apology. <laughs> I wish I was being asked for an apology. Oh, I was going to write such a beautiful apology. Yo. <laughs> Let me talk to Linda. I need to ask Linda does she need assistance in writing the apology, okay? <laughs> because the apology needs to match the letter, okay? You can't write like, you know, a letter and I'm spelling a correct, responding to a letter that had so many wrong spellings, okay? <laughs> Okay, so it says at the bottom of our instructions are such that you are wondering now the rights guideline by Palela Pezul. Our instructions are such that retraction must be done uh, on <laughs> then <laughs> then there's a part he cut. I don't so I don't know what the other instruction is. <laughs> so I don't know how Lord is going to carry these instructions if they are not clear even to me. Okay. Such is based on a mere vague, unsubstantiated illusion and misconstrued information. None of it is true. Such defamatory statements are according, uh, accordingly injurious to our clients' good name standing or uh, into uh, disrepute. It is therefore our instruction T. Guys, maybe it's a legal, it's a legal term T. Maybe it's a legal term because everywhere they are supposed to say two, they say T. Okay, it is our it is therefore our instruction to demand as we hereby do that you as we hereby do that you and then there is desist from unlawful conduct of posting in your page and pangling, but they are repeating this for the second time. Further retract from posting such defamatory posts on social media and then publish an apology. That's a they want all lady to retract and apologize. Our instructions are such that retraction must be done on a seventh day upon receiving such a letter, and any defiance or continuance from your side will entail us approaching the relevant courts and civil uh, implications will ensue. We trust the above to be in order. Okay, guys. What's that lady's cell phone number? Let me write it down. I'm going to call her and say, ma'am, I saw your letter. You must correct the spelling. You can't embarrass us here. Yeah. You know, the next thing they don't want to hire black women. I'm going to call her. I'll record myself calling her and say, ma'am, I saw your letter. It's very impressive, but you need to correct the spelling. Just check. Just check one last time. <laughs> but you guys, the whole point of this video is to say that uh, Vuyo with uh, Kulani have issued Londi Londi with a cis, cis, cis and desist, meaning that she must stop talking about the issue, she must retract, she must apologize. Okay, so guys, all of these videos that we did about the voice notes, forget about them, they were not true. Okay, it was not Kulani, it was another guy that is dating another Vuyo who also has kids, and you know, it's just coincidence which it just the stories another person that had you know a reality show everything was just a coincidence it's not him so i hope you guys are clear now anyway thank you so much for watching this video please like it before for me gonna share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in a tanda kako